The water you see in front of us is all will be allocated to use. That's 75 liters for three people, roughly 20 gallons. In order to live like Cape Tonians, we have to turn off the water to our house. Well, here goes nothing. Got to start somewhere. Oh, I've already spilled water. You have to go through the list of all your activities that you normally use water for and allocate a certain amount of water and then add that up and make sure you fall under the 25 liters a day. Here you go, buddy. Once you start to see how small the numbers are, you start to really feel the pinch. Bathing was an interesting experience. About five gallons each. Five for you, five for Maya and I together. You have to keep that water warm, so we had to heat it up over the stove. It takes a long time. Oh, that's gonna be relaxing. I'm gonna have a bath now. You're only talking like a, an inch or two of water depth. You wash yourself by sudsing up some soap and then using a cup. Once that dirty or gray water has been used for bathing, we took that water and we filled the back of the toilet and that allowed us to flush the toilets when it was absolutely necessary. Voila! Every single process of our day was lengthened because of that, mm, how am I gonna do this? How am I going to accomplish this regular task that I take for granted? I'm just vicious. Fortunately, we have two sinks in our kitchen, which I know not everybody does. Dirty side, clean side. We put, I think it was six liters in the one side and four liters in the other side. Every drop counts. The real trick is just to wipe your dishes with paper towel as much as you can before putting it in the water. I was quite shocked at how in some elements of the day, like brushing your teeth, for example, how little water I actually do need. For me, the most challenging thing, doing a full load of laundry is totally overwhelming. I mean, we did a small amount and I'm almost tempted to put that load in the washing machine <laughs> just in case. No city has done this before. No city's been forced to do this before. Think about it, there are large portions of South Africa that have never had access to running water. They live like this every single day. They go and collect their water, they ration it out. The biggest worry is the actual water collection. We didn't have to do that. 25 liters is a lot of water for one person to go and collect. If we're collecting for a whole family, then it's you know, even more challenging. It's a lot of people all waiting for their most basic resource. As of 23 hours and 30 minutes, we officially only have one container of water left. We actually, believe it or not, had about three liters of water left at the end of the day out of 75. Thank goodness for Maya's portion, right? Yes, because without Maya we and her 25 out. liters, we would have ran yeah. out of water. I'm far more wasteful than I would like to be. And I, I didn't like that about myself, that realization. So I really do want to make a few changes in the way that we upgrade in our house. We know that water-scarce cities, water-scarce locations, it's not a problem that's just going to magically disappear. 24 hours, we've got a taste of it, but we, we will change our lifestyle because of this.